This is a presentation by Louise Andrews to get everybody up to speed on the 2022 Holly Fair. Today is an overview of the Holly Fair with the timeline and the procedures. You will receive this overview and a detailed timeline by email by November 23rd. Here we are, Holly here in the gardens. This is the third year we've had it in the gardens like this. And I'm sure you've all got it on your calendar. And over the years, the first, second year we had it, we had, first year we had it, we had COVID. So we decided to do it and we had health protocols that gave us quite a bit. So we're saying that wear a face mask depending on your health. If you want to wear a face mask, that's fine. We'll have hand sanitizer stations throughout. The area, so if you want to do that, or somebody needs help, a customer needs some help, you can tell them what to do. And face masks are not going to be required in here in Georgia, unless, of course, someone wants to wear it. Now, these are all the sales goods we have. We have Fake Shop, um, Dorothy Green is in charge of that. Crystal Shop is myself. Jewelry is Lorraine. Raffles is, I can't remember, is it? No, I think I have. Oh, John, okay. And we have Rag Garland. We have probably have, well, we can sell this year. It's something new in the market. Um, we have Reese and we have Christmas. Signing off the registration will be here in the front. They're going to get a number, like a regular auction, to set a pattern of the next the next card. And if anybody at a group where you're working says, how do I register? Tell them to go up to the front gate and set up the booth there to register. And of course, the side of the office is going to be inside here. And we're going to have a top farm order. And Matthew Walton is bringing in some plants to sold. And the youth this time, they're going to have a little pizza booth and soda outside. And George is going to be doing tours. And Gary Beckett couldn't make it yet another engagement. But we present George Bonnie with a partial member here to come. This is our program, not a program, this is our flyer for this year. And this has a little pointer, but when it goes on the screen for some reason, it disappears. This is our layout, and you're going to get this by email. Um, I can't say any more about it because I can't use the pointer. And the, this is where we're going to have the entrance gate, the jewelry, the registration for the silent auction, and the raffle will all be up front. And this is an old picture. And for some reason, I guess because last year at the Holly Fair, George and I were the only ones working in the Christmas shop, so I never got out to take pictures. And nobody else were also busy that we, we didn't get any pictures from last year. So this was from a couple of years ago. Um, this is where we had the gate. And we have a program at the gate. We're, we're going to have fencing around, structure fencing, so people kind of come in the same way. And the reason we want them to come in the same way is so that they get a program. So this is the information we put in the program. We got the front of it, and we got a very nice letter from Father Tony. This is last year's. And I don't know how well you can see it, but we list all the people that we um, gave money to for outreach. And then, of course, at the bottom is health protocols. We have all the sign and auction information, what's available. And then we have at the bottom all those little, little Boxes that you see with all the colors, those are all the businesses that have donated gift cards or items, and we want to put them in the program so that people who come um, are spreading the news and helping give them some business. And of course, this is some information about the church. There's the map so they can figure out where the Christmas shop is and where the wreaths are and things like that. And this is what's on the back of the, of the program. And of course, here we had jewelry last year. And we have the raffle baskets. We got some pictures of Sandy and Karen. And this is last year's raffle area. And oh, that was somebody's. Somebody knew somebody there. Oh, good. Okay. And this is where the Christmas shop is going to go. And George Bonnie's going to be nearby. And this was. Two years ago at the Christmas shop. Like I said, last year I didn't get out to get in the picture. Uh, 
Well, maybe I did. That looks like the new 10 by 20 tent that we had up. So this was some of the stuff showing some of the people shopping. We have some nice uh, big racks that we put the wreaths on that Pam Bird donated. And those were in the shed and we have to bring those out. But it's a great way to display them rather than doing what we did the first time. You'll see when you're here. And we're going to put the Christmas trees over in that area. And put them on round tables. And like I said, we're going to have you with uh, pizza and soda. I think they're going to the downtown Benny's to get the pizza. And they'll keep them in the oven. So we'll have that one year they have hot dogs. I think the pizza is going to be better. And this is where they're going to go. Right there so they can have access to the kitchen. And popcorn, water, and plants. Um, you can see Dara there. Maybe you can see Natalie. I can't tell. Or maybe Natalie's there. Yeah, some, some guy was coming in with yeah there are some other people there that aren't going to be here this year. They know. And the bake shop is going to go inside, right over in that area. Uh, we have lots of garland. Uh, mo most of it's Christmas garland. And then we have some evergreen garland. And the garland has their own booth, and they're going to be hanging that stuff up and plugging it in. This is where people will pay, go to pay for items if they want to use their credit card. And this is where we'll have the church tour, tours by Joyce. Now, these are all the things that we've had donations for this year. Of course, this is what we have here. We've already sold a few things. I don't want to sell too much ahead of time because I want some stuff out there for when the public comes. Yeah. And these are some little trees, and you can see over here, we've already got working on them to get them decorated. And this is just all the stuff in one of the rooms that we have to haul outside. Uh, this is just more stuff. Uh, here's Meryl in the circles and Lorraine helping earlier in the week. And Christine has been a big help, but I didn't get a picture of Christine. By the time I thought about it, she was out the door going on. And here's Diane helping with the trees. Look at that. Is there a George? <laughs> how many, how many rag garlic does George do? Now, looking at all the stuff we have in here, plus there's stuff in the other rooms, how are we going to get all that stuff outside? <laughs> we have a plan. And there it is. That's my little dog. Oh, I mean, when she was hungry, that's what she would do, or she wanted a biscuit. Oh my gosh. And many hands make life work. So we have a lot of people. We're scheduled from nine to noon, and we usually get it even done before noon when we set up. We have four, four phases or four stages. The first one is Friday, so to get everything set up outside. And we're usually finished by noon. And I said, like I said, for that, we're also going to get pizza from downtown Benny's. Paid for by Father Tony. Phase two is the next morning. We can't put everything out. The only thing we're going to put out on the table and cover with cards is the Christmas shopper. The rest of the stuff doesn't have that many small pieces. And so um, if you bring it out from seven to nine, bring out paperwork, you're going to get a bank. And then the poly fair itself just runs from nine to two. And the only difference is the silent auction in here will end at one o'clock so they can tally and find out who the winners are and make some contacts and things like that. And phase four is at two o'clock. There will be people here to help this man. You believe me, it doesn't take as long to put it all away than it does to put it all out. And And December 2nd, these are the things that have to go out. We have 20 tables. Some stay in here, but half of them go outside. Car tables, a lot go outside. Portable fencing. We have some stuff that's over in the cemetery garage, and that's portable fencing that we put up. Um, nothing serious. It's that orange stuff they put up around construction sites. Okay. Um, we have some umbrellas and stands. We're going to be putting up 10 by 10 tents and 10 by 20 tents. That's what takes the most time. And once they're up, then we can put the tables and get everything else out that we're going to put out. 
Uh, we have reed stands, like I said, they come from the shed. And we have tarps. All the, all the chairs that people are going to sit on outside, we have any old chairs that come from the garage, cemetery garage. And these chairs are new, they're too good to put out, and then get all that sand and dirt and stuff on them because it'll destroy the paint that's on them. Uh, and these are all the items that are going to go out Friday, and I'm hoping the signage. Uh, Paul is here. I mentioned to him that if we can get some of the Christmas bizarre signs out by the cemetery on the roadway, uh, starting on Monday, the Monday of that week before, that we can get some advertising that way. Plus, I think Karen, you're going to put some information on the marquee down here. It's right there. Okay. But this is all setting up Friday. Of course, I forgot to we didn't I? Again, this is all, a lot of stuff's coming from the cemetery garage. A lot of it's coming from Cold Hall, and some of it's coming from the ship. And here we are. I've signed. I hope they don't mind. Uh, Richie, Russell, Steve, Jack, and Harriet to kind of coordinate everything because some people need to put up the fence, some need to put up some tents, some need to get the chairs, some need to get out the tables and everything. So um, instead of everybody running around crazy, you can have a, a, a one person in charge of getting a specific job done. And here you can kind of see the orange fencing. They're unrolling it. And again, after staging on Friday, be a pizza party for us. And from um, nine o'clock Friday night, Six o'clock in the morning, Saturday, we'll have security. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. On Saturday, the volunteers working at the fair. What time? Seven. 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 Good, good. And look at that. We've got a park in the cemetery because we got to leave some of this other parking open. And when you park in the cemetery down there, yeah, when you park in the cemetery, you go down and you can just, whatever side you see people parking on, turn around somehow and park on the same side, make a line on one side of the road. At seven o'clock, the other side can go out. That's stuff like this. Well, I think I have a picture of it. Um, we have, a, we have a sign that says a Christmas shop, one that says jewelry, one that says three, so that's going to go out also on Saturday, Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. And some of the stuff we're going to store in this outcome here, like the wreaths and things and the trees, we're going to store outside so you don't have to come in here because they're going to have everything um, set up for sign and auction, so there's no way you can get to anything. So most of it's going to be outside. And at 8.30, Miss Marilyn here, is going to give you your bank. Okay, here are some of the signs. These aren't all the signs, but like I said, the Christmas Bazaar sign we use every year because it's a Saturday without a day, so we can put them out Monday, and they know that it's the coming Saturday. And we do have parking signs this year to help people that are coming down Indian River Drive, whether they know where to turn in to come to the cemetery, because they may not be any parking in here. They may have to still go to the cemetery to park. And we'll have, I think, three people assigned to parking. Is that right, Harry? And I told them only work till maybe noon and they don't have to work the whole time. All right, Marilyn's going to bring the cash banks. You're going to have some charge slips and scrap paper and post its so that if somebody wants to buy something and they've got $35 and they want to go charge it, you put their name with the post it on the bag, you can hold it, and then they're going to. Go and pay. Now, I'll get to that in a minute. We have black aprons with pockets, but some people, some of the booths like food, the bake sale, and I think jewelry. I think one person manages the cash. Otherwise, everybody else would give you an apron and you put the money in your apron and you make change from that and give them and let them go on their merry way and spend some more money. And it's these people that are in charge overseeing that particular booth. Um, some people, there's only two. The Christmas shop has five. The raffles have two. Um, the jewelry has three. Got to watch those people. Some of them come and, you know, want to just help themselves. I shouldn't say that, but there are, there's always, there's always some. 
um, Bank Goods are Dorothy and Marilyn. And the silent auction, of course, is Karen and Sandy. And the registration is Eva. Did you know that, Eva? Oh, okay. <laughs> And of course, Abby is doing popcorn, water, and she's bringing in plants. Um, the rag garland, Tina, you knew that, right? Okay, great. <laughs> and each group person, care person, needs to get in touch with the people that are on the committee and make sure they don't forget and they know what time to be here and what they're doing. And uh, we have t shirts back here if you want to pick one up today. Okay, the Holly Fair opens from 9 to 2. Welcome guests. This is a very trendy church, so welcome the guests like they were part of the family. I don't mean you have to go up and hug them and kiss them, but welcome, make you know, smile, have a smile. We welcome and thank you for coming to support our outreach. This, this is what most of this money goes for. Um, they can follow the, all, all Saints Health Protocols are in that. So if they ask you a question, you'll know. They'll probably get some of that information at the main gate. Um, remind them about they want to sanitize it, their hands. We have sanitizing stations. You might, some people might want to wear gloves, workers, I don't know. Um, you can mention the tour by Joyce. You tend to two, I don't know exactly what the hours are. If it's on the hour, every hour. And remind them of the silent option here in Cove Hall. And the, but they have to first register at the, at the front gate by the main gate. And we're going to have floaters, kind of like substitute teachers, substitutes. Um, there's three of them. And I've asked them to give breaks to people at the booths, um, especially the booths that only have two people, so that one person can go get something to eat, go to the restroom, get some water, go sit down and, and rest. But, but we'll have chairs at all the, all the booths for you to sit, um, but just to give you a little break. A credit card sale. You're going to get a little form that looks like this. All you, you put your the customer's last name. Let's say they owe thirty-five dollars. Fill that in, and seller just put your last name. And the buyer just put their last name. And then you're going to circle: Is it for the food? Was it for the trees? What was it for? And give them the receipt. Take their bag and tell what they're buying, and set it aside with their name on it. And when they come back, person out here at the charge sale area. It's going to mark, mark it paid and sign it. And when they see that mark like that and they bring it back, you know, you can give it to them. If you get a lot of big bills, Marilyn's going to be coming around to check and, and pick it up so that you don't have a load of 20s, hopefully, or a load of 50s in your apron. So she can pick that up. She'll give you a receipt so that we know it was from the bank shop or where it was from. And you're going to put all those little slips in an envelope at the end of the day. And give it to Marilyn right out here where the chart sale is going to be. If you can, well, they need to spend close to 100. I wouldn't, unless you can, I don't know how to tell a fake 100. So, so I probably wouldn't take any more, thing more than a 50. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I hadn't thought of that. At one o'clock, just the silent auction closes, and I talk to Father Tony, and the people that want to hang around and see if they want are going to be waiting in the church instead of out here in the way when we start to bring materials back in here. And from one to two, though, we can sell shopping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Or they can go in the church and sit there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. At one forty-five is going to be the raffle drawing, and that will be posted up by the raffle area. And of course, at two o'clock, the Holly Fair ends. And to dismantle everything, again, the people that are helping know what things go where. These are all the things, all the all the tents, all the fencing, the water pails, umbrellas, old folding chairs, all the stuff that you don't see in here go there. And then in Hope Hall, all the tables and chairs and all the materials that weren't sold have to be boxed and brought back in here. And in the shed are the wreath stands. Now, we have some t-shirts. 
the, the t-shirt that's on the left is one we had when we first had a holly fair, but it's only in here. And some of us have a red shirt with a little logo on it, which is nice. But like I told somebody earlier, the gentleman that used to make them had cross boards moved away. So we didn't have anyone to make more shirts. And so Pam Heard has been able to get us these other shirts that you see on the right. And we've got red, turquoise, black. And that way, if you wear a shirt like that, oh, with your name tag, um, people that are coming to the church, coming to the Holly Fair, know that you're an official person that you're working here and they can ask you that somebody that, you know, won't know what to tell them. Now, <clears throat> we couldn't do a Holly Fair of this magnitude without our fabulous and dedicated volunteers. So we love you and really appreciate what you're doing, but we couldn't move without, without you. I know I mentioned to a couple of the men that I had, they had signed up. I said, well, I, I think it was Richie, I said, I said, I know I signed you up. And he said, that's right, I didn't sign up for anything. But <laughs> he's here, he's here, he's working, and he's always here helping. Let's go. Let's see, let's see. They're a lot stronger than we are. I think they're better than ours. Um, we, we really couldn't get this done. It'd be impossible. I want a very special thank you going to the Women's Fellowship for sponsoring this. A thank you. And the Men's Fellowship. They purchased two of the large tents that we have. But the Fellowship purchased the other two. And, of course, the men are always here to help. And a big super thank you goes to Father Tony because he did all the graphics. Um, it's a valued advice and it was fair for us. 